Hi guys. I'm on here today to do my best in 2016 um, makeup and beauty and some like technology kind of things. Uh, so it's going to be like what I have gone to since 2016. Now I actually restarted my YouTube channel just earlier this year. Um, so everything that you, everything that I'm pretty much showing you has been stuff that I've gotten within the past few months. So that'd be why, but they're good stuff. <laughs> so anyway, let's get right into it. So I'm going to get into the stuff that's not in beauty. Um, of course, since I had a kid this year, <laughs> um, and I am breastfeeding, uh, my go-to uh, is the first year's nursing care uh, for your area, your nipple area. <laughs> um, it's healing, pretty much. Um, I put it on at night, uh, right after I put her to bed. I put it on at night, and even in the middle of the night when she wakes up for her one-time feeding, I still feel better, and then it kind of like makes them feel better all day long, and then... I put it on again at night, and this is so, so, this lasts me, like, a while, ladies. And then my, like, <laughs> these are holy grail <laughs> technology, ladies. My Bluetooth headphones that I got on Black Friday, these things are amazing. If you have kids and you don't want cords, <laughs> you just stick them on and rock out. <laughs> Um, they attach to my phone within seconds. I can actually answer a phone call in these things. I can talk in these things. I can record voiceovers if I want to for YouTube. I can do whatever. And, oh yeah, and they bend. I stored these away for our trip. Me and my husband stored them away for our trip so we can listen to, uh, YouTube and everything like that when the girls went down when we were in the hotel. Bam. They took up, like, no space in our bag. So, hello! That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, and then, uh, just recently, what we got, uh, Taylor for Christmas. This is her 2016 go-to right now. Like, are you kidding me? This thing, her knobby, she loves it. And it is a saver when you have two kids, ladies. Oh, like... Just in the past month, this has skyrocketed. And she has learned stuff that I can't always, like, I'm teaching her, but she's learning it almost at her level. So it's kind of like, she, now she can say A through E, so A, B, C, D, E. Um, she can say 1 through 6. Uh... She has, like, eight flashcards of animals down pat. Uh, she can match them and everything. Um, yeah, like, are you kidding me? She's two years old. That's awesome. So, um, she can count to one to ten, but really, she can count from one to six. Like, straight up, one to six. Um, and she knows color, uh, uh, she knows white, black, pink, orange, blue, I think those are her colors, yeah. So she has a retail, what we've been figuring out, she has a retail about five or six things that she can take in and remember, so. But that thing, hello, awesome, awesome. All right, so now get on into the makeup, let's go. So my favorite palettes of 2016 have to be my Wet n Wild Fergie collection in Desert Festival. This thing is amazing, ladies. This burnt orange. Are you kidding me? I love it. And the color payout is like insane. Like it's awesome for a dollar. I can't find these anymore, but I love it. <laughs> I want more of them. <laughs> um, my next, uh, let's say dollar, or not dollar tree, but uh, dollar store one would have to be uh, my Valora Vixen from Wet n Wild, their fall collection. 
uh, this right here. Are you kidding me? Oh, just just gorgeous, just gorgeous, just 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 gorgeous. I used those two colors, that that orange and that red, for like pfft, months. I used a, a cream on my lid and then I just put one of those in my crease and I just left for the day. That's how fast and easy I did all my stuff. Like I that was it. I I didn't need any of any other colors. Those colors were awesome. So, uh now my two high-end uh palettes that I have been loving has the Too Faced Love palette. Um like you can see that I have like really gotten into this palette. I love this palette and I am in love with the eyeliner that comes with it, ladies. This palette is immersion. Um just this coppery tone. They're so buttery too. Ah I am the worst swatcher in the world. <laughs> this coppery tone. Like oh just 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 gorgeous. Mm. And it's so buttery and so just creamy. And then, of course, my Kat Von D palette that I got with Stacy. I love this palette. Um, I did an eye look a couple of days ago. Actually, for New Year's, I did an eye look uh, using this blue and this silver. And I actually put the blue on my lid and put the silver in my crease. And it looks so dark and smoky. But it was so pretty. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't even expect it. I've been just like messing around. Um, but no, I, I, I love this color. Um, love that color. Just, I'm the worst swatcher in the world. I'm trying to do this in a mirror, ladies. I'm not even trying to. But, um... I would love to own more Kat Von D palettes because this is awesome. Okay, and then also, um, well, those are those are like my palettes. Those are the ones I went to. Now I did have um, at the beginning of my YouTube, I did have the um, uh, Too Faced color or chocolate bar palette, but I ended up um, I had so like I started getting so much makeup that my desk was like I couldn't keep it neat, so. Uh, my mom was talking about how she wanted makeup, so I told her, hey, I'm just going to go through my stuff, and you're going to get my leftovers, and she had no problem with it. I got her a few, like, new things, like some brushes and stuff like that that, that were new, um, but, uh, like my makeup palettes, I gave her the, the two, uh, Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, um, some of my Wet n Wild, uh, trios that I love, but I just don't go towards anymore, um, but I did love the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. It had very good uh, neutrals and stuff like that. But I'm kind of like stepping out of my boundaries. Um, so those were the ones I went to. Um, now uh, let's go with like a bronzer and blush. So um, I have been loving for a blush. I have been loving the uh, Wet and Wild Color Icon in Mellow Wine. Uh, this is an awesome color, and it's super soft and, like, velvety, but it's just an awesome, awesome color. Awesome. Then I found at my Dollar Tree, I found the Beauty uh, Benefits Bronzer. Um, I have the, the bl one of their blushes, the, the berry-toned one. But I haven't been going towards it. Um, yeah, like, I've used it a couple of times. But for some reason, I just love that color icon one. So I put that one in this video. But this one's still good. But the bronzer, I have been going towards. Let me do better swatching. <laughs> the bronzer I have been going towards. It is awesome. Um, great all around. Okay, um, face... Uh, powders I have been going towards have been the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder got I, I've been using it a lot ladies and it's, it's still got a lot of product left in there I'm super excited about that and then 
actually what I have been going for. I know I said in my U in my Ulta haul um, and review that I I reviewed the whole Ulta brand. In my Ulta, I'll, I'll leave that link down below. But in in that um, in that haul, I talked about the mineral powder, saying it went everywhere. It was ridiculous to try to get a hold of. Well, I I ended up just keeping it in here, but I ended up um, finding a lid that I could use and dumping it in that lid before I, besides using this thing, I just dumped it in the lid and then swelled my brush. And I actually love it. Um, it's super soft. Like, it leaves my under eyes really, really soft. And I just, I actually like it. So I think I'm gonna buy the full size version of this and use it, um, I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna like specifically use it between the Laura Mercier because this is great too. So I don't know. I just switch off, but they're both translucent. They're both fine. But I actually, I I wanted to tell you ladies that I actually went into back into this and I actually didn't end up liking it. So anyway, so my brushes for 2016 have been these four, technically. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So the Expert Face Brush from uh, Real Techniques from Stacy. She, I was using a stippling brush, and it was like um, from from Real Techniques, but the uh, bristles were coming out. And then I ended up using a beauty blender, and I was trying to get into that, and it didn't work, and it didn't work. And Stacy was like, "Look, this brush is amazing. You need to own it." And I got it, and it is amazing. I actually bought my mom one to put on her foundation because it's awesome. <laughs> and then uh, my Sony Kashuk textured, it's actually really, really textured um, and really, really dense. Uh, angled brush for my blush. Love this. My crown. Yes, it's a crown brush, and it's their angled brush, but I use it for bronzer. As you can see, I need to clean my brushes. <laughs> ah, <laughs> uh, this is awesome. Um, it didn't. It doesn't matter to me about the ombre color. Um, it matters that it puts on product and it like fits perfectly. In it's not like too big or anything like that. It fits perfectly in my uh, cheekbone uh, crease when I do that. <laughs> so. And then, of course, I've actually been using my uh, finger uh, to apply a lot of my makeup. Now, sometimes I'll use a, uh, a flat, uh, a flat eyeshadow brush. But honestly, I, I, the the looks I've been doing, I've been just using my NYX Milk, which I show you. This is awesome. My NYX Milk uh, White, and or yeah, my NYX. Jumbo pencil in milk. I live by this thing. Every time I'm, I'm I'm close to getting out of it, I go and repurchase. I will not live without this thing. This thing is freaking amazing. <laughs> you don't even need primer on your eyes, lady. All you need is this. That's all you need. <laughs> that is like my one number one. That's my number one. I, I don't even care about anything else. This is my number one. <laughs> so, um, but no, uh, pretty much what I've been doing is doing that. And then using a crease brush to go into my crease. Well, my go-to crease brush is my Wet n Wild crease brush. This thing is so domed. Like, it's perfect. And it was a dollar. Are you kidding me? And of course, I can't find any more of them. Um, my Dollar Tree has only had one forever now. And it's their small eyeshadow brush, which I have, which I like, but I want m probably one more of these. I want like one more because I just love this brush. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so, okay, let's go into like foundations for 2016. So um, I got the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. And it's in the color 110 Porcelain. Now I did find out that this was too light for me. But I just ended up doing some bronzer and everything like that. It's still really, really great. I'm still using it um, when I want to feel 
more bronzed. Um, but the coverage is amazing on it. I, I, I'm not saying anything bad about it. I just, um, I got the wrong shade. But my, still my go-to. I, I, I stopped buying it because I went into liquid. But I, I will go back to this. I love this foundation. It stays on. My oily skin has no effect on this thing. It is the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Mousse. And it is in 100 Ivory. And I just adore this stuff. Um, I got it from my mom for Christmas because she needed a foundation. We have the same, we have the same skin tone, but we have the same oily skin. Um, I completely, completely love this stuff. If you have oily skin, um, even, even oily to, to dry, but just, or oily to normal, but like extreme oily T-zone area, like as soon as you step outside, you start sweating. This stuff is what you need, and it's like five bucks at Walmart. Okay, so um, I've been loving my uh, Hard Candy Primer. I will buy the full-size version of that uh, in my Ipsy bag. Uh, a few months ago, I got this Detox Night Cream. I have been actually really liking this. I need to get into a night cream. I need to update my night creams. Or my, my skin routine. But um, this is from NUXE. And it is a detox, um, anti-age, re uh, recharge, uh, youth, anti-aging cream. Uh, you just put it on at night, um, go to sleep, and, and you're fine. Um, it's, it's really awesome. It doesn't have any kind of a harsh smell or anything like that. So... I think I'm going to start uh, to look into getting night creams and stuff. So, uh, mascara. My mascara from my Ipsy bag uh, a few months ago as well would have to be my Tarte Tarte Lastic um, in uh, Lash Paint. It's just the one with the gold top. Um, I love this. The brush on it is that um, plasticky one. So, it's pretty awesome. And, okay, and then my concealer for the month, or for the month, for uh, 2016, um, I wasn't really using any in the beginning of 2016, I was just using foundation, um, but then Stacy did a review on, like, <laughs> but then Stacy, hello, how many times have I said that, but then Stacy did, like, a review kind of thing, and uh, she said the uh, Maybelline um, Age Rewind was awesome and I love this stuff as you can tell it's almost gone um, I will be getting more of that awesome awesome so my lips for 2018 or 2018 where where am I 2016 are as follows <laughs> the Smashbox vinyl dark dark purple and just oh mm. creamy and even when it goes down uh even when it like wears out it turns into a beautiful beautiful color my Kat Von D in Bahamas beautiful pink berry tone oh oh I just I, I I love these the formula is amazing on them all uh, another Kat Von D in Home Girl. I got so many compliments on this when I wore this in uh, one of my um, Instagram pictures. That third one down there. I am a horrible swatcher. I am so sorry. <laughs> and then my Milani. I know I got two of them, but this is the one I go towards. The uh, Carpet Blend number 40. that top one right there love it love it love it love it love it and then finally my color pop and it is in the color avenue and this stuff will not come off ever <laughs> right there down at the bottom it's like a berry red tone it's awesome anyway i hope you ladies enjoy my 2016 top 
babes and look forward to uh, new videos that I have. I have so many things that I want to do. So subscribe.